Hello again and welcome back to NewsHour on CCTV News. Hong Kong's chief executive Liang Changying has said the region's new constitutional reform package will be reviewed on Wednesday, which would bring Hong Kong people a step closer to their historic goal. Speaking at a press conference, Liang said electing the next chief executive through one-man, one-vote system was not only the wish of the Hong Kong people, but also his and the central government's. He hoped the package would gain support from all facets of society and members of the legislative, legis, legislative council as well. And Leong stressed the package conforms to the basic law, the decision of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, China's top legislative body and the wishes of the Hong Kong public. Now for more, let's talk to our reporter Zhu Dan, who is standing by in Hong Kong right now. Hello there, Zhu Dan. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, regarding uh, the constitutional reform package in Hong Kong? Right now, I'm inside the Legislative Council building where the government's chief secretary, Kara Lam, is unveiling the political reform package. The proposal, if passed by the Legislative Council, will allow Hong Kong people to choose their own chief executive for the first time in 2017. Earlier today, Chief uh, Executive Leon Chen Yin also said it marks the milestone of Hong Kong's democracy development and also unveiled the new slogan for the new campaign, 2017, Make It Happen. Well, let's take a look at uh, the proposal uh, Carrie Lam just unveiled. Uh, first of all, Candidates hoping to run need to secure 120 votes from the 1,200 people nominating committee. Secondly, candidates then go through a second round of voting by the nominating committee. Here, a majority vote of at least 600 is needed for up to a maximum of three candidates to get through to the next stage. After that, the public of more than 5 million eligible voters get to have their say on who will lead the city in 2017. Well, uh, but uh, a two-thirds majority of the Legislative Council of 70 is needed, which means the government needs to have uh, have uh, four Democrats to change their minds. So obviously it's an uphill battle. Right. And, uh Talking about uh, the expectations of the Hong Kong public, the Hong Kong people, what has centered the, their expectations over the plan? Well, uh, there are thousands just outside of the uh, Legislative Council building. There are thousands of people come today to support the Legislative Council to pass the bill. But of course, there are thousands of protesters uh, there as well to ask the uh, Legislative Council to veto the bill. So it's kind of divided here. Well, but also, we found that support for lawmakers to pass the political reform package has been steadily rising, according to a survey which interviewed around a total of 1,300 residents on three occasions from March to April. And uh, the survey says around 55% initially supported the package before the number rose to 58% and then 61%. Backing for a chief executive election that is in accordance with the basic law also rose from 66% to 67% and then to 70%. While right now the, chief, uh, the government's chief secretary, Carol Lam, is still unveiling the political reform package and right now is taking the question and answer session. We'll follow in that. But right now, back to you. Thank Tony. you very much. Judan reporting from Hong Kong.